Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a very long time since I've uploaded a video. Um, pretty much over a year. I think the last video I uploaded was just something I needed to put out, and it was back in like September of 2015. So I'm back. I'm gonna try and post as often as I can, um, and by that is probably like once a week, uh, because I also try to post on my blog once a week. So hopefully um, you enjoyed this video. Oh, so this video I figured, I don't know, kind of like jumping right in, and I didn't think it should be anything like whew, so dramatic. Um, and I just received my Petivore box for October. So we are going to unbox this one as well as talk a little bit about the September box and uh, what I think of some of the products, some of them I haven't tried, and one of them I actually gave away to a blogger friend that really wanted it. Sorry, that's my dog. So um, where have I been? I've been here. I haven't really been doing anything different. Um, my laptop that I'm using to record videos was broken and I thought it was dead and I had another laptop and it the camera sucked on it so I've kind of been always apprehensive of trying to record videos with that laptop and you'll notice that I'm not really much into like editing and all that stuff and lo and behold the local computer store around here um, I brought them my laptop that I thought was dead and they resurrected it so I have my laptop which means I have my camera and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the channel. I'm not gonna delete anything I had before, so you're welcome to you know go back and check out some old videos. If you are not a subscriber, um, feel free to subscribe, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in to unboxing my Petivore box, and this is the October 2016 box. So as you know, if you've seen a Petit War video or if you have a Petit War box, this is the inside of the box. And the theme for this box is, well, I don't know if it's the theme, but it says Kiss Kiss and you have a bunch of lips on it. And then on the back, you have a listing of what's in the box and the values. So we're going to talk a little bit about each one. And I'm just trying to see if it says anything on here. And so this is actually, um, this right here is actually art uh, by an artist and she has her, or her, not that she has it, but they have her Instagram down here right at the bottom and it's at Nina with two eyes underscore Petchkovskaya. Um, so let's see if you can, oh, this way, there you go. But I will put a link to that in the description, hopefully if I remember. So the first thing on the list is a red apple lipstick, which I was, I think I remember seeing the sneak peek for that. So I was kind of excited because I've tried their eyeshadows, but I've never tried one of their lipsticks. And so let's see. Comes in its own little box. There you go and some information on it. It is vegan, cruelty-free, soy-free, um, gluten-free, paraben-free, and allergen-free, and made in the USA. So this is the lipstick. It's a pretty neat um, bullet. It has like the, the, like the bottom has texture on it, sorry. And then this is the color. It's like a really light nude shade and it is in the shade oh my guava which i think is adorable and let's see if you get a that is really pretty so i know my lighting stinks but i actually saw this on um an instagrammer that I'm like in a, she's in our bunny group, like cruelty free stuff. My beauty effect, I think, or makeup, the, my makeup effect or the makeup effect. I will link her in there as well. I'll put a link to her picture, but she was wearing this. And when I saw she was wearing Oh My Guava, I was like, oh wow. So it's not as nude as I thought it was going to be. It's very pretty. It's kind of like a peachy 
pinkish. It's pretty. Gotta try it on. And so this lipstick retails for $23.50. And then the next item in here is the Apoterra Skincare Tulsi Body Oil, which is this right here. Dun, dun, dun. And it is a rejuvenating oil with lavender and evening primrose, and it's for bath and body. Directions. Apply body oil liberally over the skin. Best to use directly after bath or shower. Very cool. And I'm going to try and open it because it's got a little plastic seal on it. You know, sometimes when you try and open something on camera, it like takes forever. So just bear with me. Yeah, got it off. Ooh. That smells delightful. <laughs> Can you smell it? Smell it. Just really natural. Definitely getting the lavender. Let's see. Because you know sometimes when you put it on your skin it smells just a tiny bit different. I love the bottle too. I love this whole apothecary style bottle. I use a skincare brand that uses a similar bottle and I love it. Ooh, that smells really good now. It's like diffusing and it's just like a really nice deep scent. I love it. I will definitely be using this after my next shower. And this is not a full size um, sample. This is a, I'm sorry, this is not a full size product. This is a sample, which is, I think this is pretty good for a sample. Um, it is a one ounce, which is typical, I guess, when it comes to like essential oils and just oils. But the full size must be four times as big, so four ounces, because it says here the value for the sample in here is seven dollars, and full size is twenty eight. I'll tell you, it's super lightweight, like it's not oily at all, not oily at all. It smells really good. I really, really like it. It smells so good. Yep, winner. Um, the next item in here is the Kahina Giving Beauty Beldy Soap, which I'm just trying to find it. And it is this little pouch right here. And okay, so it's not like a bar of soap. It's like a something, like a, a lotion, but it's a cleanser. I'm not gonna, should I open it? Yeah, it's got a zipper. Oh, very smart. So see, sometimes these samples, you get them and you can't like seal them properly to be able to use them again. So it has the rip, but then it has, it looks like um, a Ziploc type of thing. Let's see. All right, so this is Moroccan Beldy Soap with Eucalyptus, 100% natural, and it does have the Ziploc type container, and it is a very thick, it smells really good, you guys. I don't know if you can see this. It's hard to kind of like get in there. I don't want to stick my finger in. Can you see that? It's like a thick, thick ointment looking type cleanser let's see use daily as a replacement for shower gels or soaps and or to prep skin for exfoliation massage so to cleanse massage a tablespoon of this soap onto the skin or wash off um, or washcloth in the bathroom shower and then rinse off after 10 minutes of in the bath massage into the skin blah 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 this smells really good so I don't think that this probably suds up because the ingredients are just olive oil and eucalyptus leaf oil so this must be like so moisturizing for the skin so I'm definitely excited to give this a try I like these you kind of have two um, type of bath items and this is a five dollar sample um, full size is about $38, so very cool. I'm excited to give that a try. And then the last thing in here is the pie, 
and I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly. It's PAI Serum Concentrate. It's a $3 sample and the full size retails for $40. And um, this is kind of like a, so this is the way you see it when it comes in the box. And then it's like a little container. So it's really, really small sample. Let's see. It's rosehip bioregenerate oil and it doesn't okay so it's less than an ounce it's point oh it's less than even a tenth of an ounce it's 0 0.07 full ounces and apply in the evening massage three to four drops into slightly damp skin after cleansing exfoliating or toning for best results use without moisturizer unless your skin is particularly dry so i have dry skin so i would probably follow it up with a moisturizer anytime i do like a serum at night um, and I'm actually uh, working with a retinol serum right now. I feel like my skin responds better when I wear a moisturizer on top because I don't wake up to dry skin. Oh, I'm like seeing if it's going to smell. I mean, it doesn't really smell like anything. So very cool. And it's good for all skin types. It's a cute little sample. So if I were to try and add this up quickly, the, let's see, I'll use my phone instead. Let me give you the value of the box. You would think that I would have been prepared with this, but I'm not. So the lipstick is $23.50. The Apatera body oil is seven. The body soap is five and then the serum is three so it's about forty dollars thirty eight dollars and fifty cents and you pay what is it like fifteen dollars for the box so not bad and so i'm excited to try these products especially the bath i love like bath stuff and i like it all bath stuff makeup skincare i'm all about it i'm all about it so let me put this one to the side. And then I wanted to just kind of show you guys the September box and what I've been using. Crap, I left the foundation. Let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. All right, so uh, the September box came with four items. And then this is the cute kind of like gems picture and this is also cover art for Mia Charo at Mia Charo with two R's and I will go ahead and link that as well below so this box came with an Osea ocean cleanser which is a really nice size sample and it's a really pretty bottle this is a glass bottle you guys how like impressive is that and this is the Ocean Cleanser. Gel cleanser for normal dry and combo skin. This cleanses without depleting skin of protective lipid barrier. That's my doggy. And I've tried, um, I think it's like their clay cleanser, which I really like. So I'm excited to give this a try. Like I said, I have not tried it. Let's smell it. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. Nice. I like it. I love skincare. Like I said, I love it all. Um, the And so this is a $16 value for just this one item, already more than the box. And the full size is $44. And this is one full ounce, which, like I said, it is a really nice size sample. The item that's on here next is the Meow Meow Treat Baking Soda Free Deodorant Cream. I do not have that to show you guys because I actually gifted it um, to another blogger. Uh, her name is uh, Nicole over at Reasonable Raven, and she loves that deodorant. I am not a fan of that deodorant, so by all means, share the love, and I hope you're loving the deodorant, Nicole. But that is a $14 deodorant, which is really, really good. You know, I the, apparently the deodorant works really well for a lot of people, but for me, ever since I've had kids, my threshold for deodorant is really high like nothing works only like the non-cruelty free like clinical strength 
stuff was doing the trick. I don't want to use a non cruelty free brand. So I've just been trying different deodorants like for the past, I don't know what, just trying to find one that actually works for me. And I finally found one. I posted it on Instagram. It's from a company called Alvera. And it's really, it's, it has aloe vera gel in it and it has almonds in it and like some other stuff. But I will link um, that below because that's like, I've tried it all. I've tried La Vanilla. I've tried my Mel Tui. I've tried um, the Crystal. I've tried... Um, Tom's of Maine, I've tried Jason, and none of them work for me. So, Nicole, enjoy it. I found my uh, unicorn deodorant, and I'm very happy. The next item on here is the Adorn Mineral and Organic Hydrating Cream Foundation, and this is the little container. So, when I first got the box, um, my sample was broken. Like, you would open it, and the whole plastic had cracked, so it would like come apart. Um, so I was very, like I would hold it together and I closed it. I contacted Petit Vore, um, I took a picture, I sent it to them, they were great and they sent me a new one. Um, because I had kind of like kept that other one together, I was able to actually get like one use out of it, even though most of the foundation, I would say this is probably like a, For me, I would say this is probably about three uses. Like this is, sorry, this is one use. I did not use a lot and there's not a lot in here. Sorry, I keep putting, there is not a lot in there. So I was able to get one use out of the, um, the broken one and I was so impressed with the one time that I used it. And I'm wearing it now. It's definitely a, I would say, you know, this is like a full coverage, medium to full coverage foundation. It's super buildable. It's super creamy. It's not heavy. Um, I've never tried another foundation as thick as this one, but yet yeah, it's still like blended really well. I, I put it on, I just kind of like dabbed it on and then I used my Wet n Wild um, flat brush to kind of blend it in. And I really, really like this foundation. So I probably can use this, like I said, maybe two or three more times. It's not bad. That's one time. And there's still a lot in there. Like a little goes a long way. So very nice. This is a $4 sample. The full size is $50. So, and this is, mine is in the shade medium tan. So I really, really like this. And the last item in here is the Audacity, Audacity Skin Care. Um, serum concentrate so another serum so this was the front this is the inside and I hate little samples like this because it's so difficult to open like you have to like really get in there and I feel like you take the chance of spilling your product and like you get so little I mean so see if you can even see like it's probably full to about here sorry it's probably full to about there it smells good um, let's see mix two to three drops it's basically just a serum radiance serum concentrate it has lemongrass it has green tea it has the active source of plant collagen is camellia seed oil very cool so i'll definitely use this i love skincare so that always works for me wake up and oh so you could use this one at in during the day and at night as well two to three drops and then you can follow it up with your moisturizer or you can add it into your moisturizer I'm trying to find the directions on here I could give it to you guys. How cool is this? These people have like a table. There you go. Ah, sorry. There. Table of serum concentrates. I guess they make all of these. And so you can find the one that's targeted for whatever you need. Very cool. Yeah, add two to three drops of the radiant serum to your skincare routine in the morning and then in the evening 
same thing, add two to three drops. Oh no, so they're recommending in the evening their hyperpigmentation serum, which is based on the table of serum concentrates. I'm looking for it. Hyperpigmentation, papaya and geranium. This is really cool. Devitalized. That's for the skincare type. And then this for the morning um, just helps to provide radiance and wake up with, if you wake up with lackluster skin, which I do, if I don't you do my nighttime routine, I will wake up with lackluster skin. So this uh, proper, the astringent and toning properties of lemongrass tighten and refine sluggish lackluster skin. Um, restoration of radiance and skin luminescence, I'm all about it. So very cool. I'll give this a try. I can actually start using this one now because I don't use a serum in the morning. Um, I know, but I'm doing that retinol serum at night and just want to like not overdo it. And then, oh, there was also a little card for the Adorn foundation in there. So that is everything that was in my Petit Bore boxes. I will definitely um, update you guys on what I thought about the rest of the products. And I will link uh, info below for everything. And thank you so much for sticking around. I'm happy to be back. If you have any types of videos you would like to see, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I do have a few more unboxings, um, so stay tuned. And I'm going to try and get those up within the next um, two weeks. I want to have up about three videos since I'm now coming back. So all right, guys, stay beautiful and have a great day. Bye.